Welcome back to our mess. We are in the middle of a home renovation and as you can see, it's getting a little bit carried away. We had to replace this whole wall because it was rotted out all under here, the sill, the roof line, top plate, everything was rotted. So we had to remove the front door and the window and the whole wall. The goal today is to try to get this wall rebuilt and sealed in. So when we left last night, I was trying to show you this, I got this top board replaced, all the rot's gone. This isn't ideal, building this on the ground, but I think we can get it pretty straight. I gotta get it under that. That's how low the ceiling is sagging. Wow. That's a good start. So these will be for here and here. Right now I'm framing out the front door and building a built up header, two two by fours with a half inch plywood OSB in between. This is coming out really good. I'm glad today's going smoother than yesterday. We got our front door framed right there. So about where it was originally. And we got our new smaller window framed. Some of you guys might not like that we downsized our window, but you gotta trust me, there's not that great of a view and it just lets more cold air in to have a big window. And this actually creates more wall space in the living room, which is useful for us. Now that we got our new front wall built, I can take out this temporary wall. We shouldn't need that anymore. The new wall lifted up the roof so much that these are floating when I unscrew them. I mean, you can see that's almost quarter inch. That's good, that's what we want. Well guys, this is looking really good. I'm really excited that I just, I probably said it already, but look at all the new wood. Yeah. It just makes me feel good to know that all the rot is gone and everything's solid. We put like lots of nails, lots of screws all over it and it's looking really good. Before we can put our sheathing up, which we want to do, we actually are going to take down the rest of the siding and just sheath the whole house at once. But before we continue on that, there's a couple of things we wanted to talk about. 
One of them is that we're building this wall with two by fours and some of you guys might wonder why since we're building out all the walls in our house to be five and a half inches thick. So it would have made sense to just build our wall out of two by sixes to begin with. The reason that we didn't do that is because it was difficult for me to understand how to work the two by sixes into the existing two by four wall and I didn't want it to get weird. It was just easier to work with two by fours because it was already an existing two by four structure. And also it, it was easier for us to lift in place. It wasn't mm -hmm. as he heavy and basically it was just mentally easier right now to just build the wall the way it is and then just we'll frame it in. We'll build it out later like we, we're doing with the rest of the house. Something else we wanted to show you is how scary and crazy this is. So we had this electrical box in the front of our house and we never looked at it or used it, but we had power to it. And this is the scary part, that it had live power before we started working on the room. And when I pulled it out, this is what came out. It broke when I was pulling it out, but look how fried this box is, if you can. Look how much it like goes in from meltage. The whole box is melted and the outlet is fried and everything's corroded inside. I don't know if it's focusing on it because it's seeing our faces, but. But that's kind of scary that that had live power in it on the outside of our house. And that could have burnt down the house. Look, it got so hot that it melted the box. Not now, uh, not, not while we've been here probably. It was probably. probably an old thing that happened. They probably had something plugged in. And you can see it, that's why it's all burnt out. But wow. Yeah. Super scary. Glad we're redoing all this to find the problems. Yep. So this is a big improvement from yesterday. Today it's all back together, so we're feeling good. Now we're gonna take down all the siding over here and the window out of our bedroom. Yep. And we're gonna board it up and we're just gonna put all the sheathing on and we'll be done. Good. And we've gotten some comments about shutters. Are we putting them back up? Or are we reusing them? No, we're not gonna be doing any shutters on the house. We don't like fake shutters and it'll look better just clean and without them. Okay, we don't want you in our bedroom. <laughs> no. The job is going well. It would be going better if they didn't use staples. Right now, we're taking forever just pounding in and pulling out all the thousands of staples that are in this wall. We are ready to start sheathing the house. This is pretty exciting because that was painful. Yeah, all too many those, staples. It's like my arms are just rubber. I can't even feel them. Just from swinging that hammer forever. Okay, so we have a trailer full of OSB. That's gonna be our sheathing. 
and we're ready to start putting it up. So hopefully it goes quickly. We attached a board down here underneath, just temporary. We had just enough room to screw it in. And what we're gonna do is use that to just set our sheathing right on it and start nailing it in place. Yeah, without that, it would just be so hard to hold it up in the right spot. Mm -hmm. Hopefully between that guide and this nailer, we can get this job done pretty quick. Yeah. You ready? How about we put the next one up? I could even like throw a screw in this. All right, let's get our space on it. Eighth inch. Um, the gap is wider up here than down here. I feel like we're on track now. It looks good. As long as this top can go in without it hitting. Mm -hmm. Locked off. I don't know. We're just gonna do that right now. Okay, it's in. Oh yeah, top. Unfortunately, we have to mark out every single one of these sheets because their lines are in the wrong spots or non-existent. You guys see what this is? That's the halfway point. We're halfway done with the house. Um, we did six sheets, there's six left to go. And so we just wanted to take a break to point that out. It is looking pretty awesome. We've run into a couple of small holdups, but nothing big. Overall, it's been pretty smooth. Hopefully the last six sheets go just as smooth and we get it done tonight. Yeah. We can't drag this on any longer. It has to be closed up tonight. Yeah. And if we didn't have that bottom board on there that we're resting the, board, the sheets on, it would have just been like impossible. Yeah. That's making the difference. There's only, yeah, we can only hold it up for so long and try to nail it and level it and all that stuff, so. Yeah. We're making it happen. And as we put up the sheets, Ashley is drilling holes in all the corners of the windows and doors. So we do have- Door. Windows and door, yeah. <laughs> um, and so we do have some holes there so we can see where the openings will be. We'll probably just cut them out later with the reciprocating saw. But for yeah. now, we're leaving them all sealed up so that the weather and people don't just come in. Yeah, we still need to wait for our windows and door to come in. And it might seem a little crazy to be doing all this before we even have our windows and doors in place or with us. But we just wanted to make sure that we tackled everything before they Just to get it ready so that when we have those, we can just put them in right away. Yeah, we didn't know what we were going to run into. So it's better to just do it now while we can. It was getting late, so we couldn't show you guys us finishing up this project, but we got it done. And now look at it, look how cool. Wow, we have a solid sheathed wall yeah. for our house. This is like the making this house real. It's like coming together now. So we didn't cut out any of the doors or windows. We're gonna wait on that because we don't have the doors or windows. So for now, the wall is just gonna stay solid until we get those and we can cut out the openings. At that point, we'll house wrap it. We don't get a lot of wind, we don't get a lot of rain, so the the OSB is gonna be fine until that comes. It'll be yeah. exposed for a, week's, a week or less. So there was no major snags during this project. Luckily, all of the studs were pretty much 16 on center. Everything was really easy. Yeah, it we went, did a lot of work that day. 
This was one of the biggest <laughs> jobs that we've done. I mean, since being here, this is yeah. the, this is it. So this was a lot of work, mentally, physically, but we did it. Yep. Now the only other work that we have to do on the front is cleaning up these, this fascia up here, putting some new wood up here on the soffits. But other than that, we're good to go. We're excited and looking forward to getting our windows and our door. Yeah. I don't know what our next project is. We're just going to go with the flow, see what comes, see what happens. But that's all we have for now. So until next time, take care. Bye.